Good morning, Dr. Ryder. Good morning. Do you mind if we talk for a second? Uh, sure. Okay. I have good news and I have bad news. Which one do you like to hear first? Good news. Oh, well, I didn't have any good news, just bad news. Well, then why would you say don't, that you... Don't worry about it. Let's just focus on the bad news. Which is? Your job is in huge jeopardy. What? You heard me. What are you talking about? So I've been looking at our company's reviews, and there have been multiple horrible reviews about how people's lives have been worse after coming to this office. Okay, but that's the office. What does that have to do with me? Well, I've looked at the people's names who left the reviews, and all five of them were reporting to you. The most out of any therapist. Well, I just don't know what to say. Neither do I, except for this. You're fired. Well, if you can't explain those reviews, then I have no choice but to fire you. No, I have an explanation. Well, it better be a good one. But I have to warn you. It's a very long story. Well, go ahead. Well, it was about three months ago. Come in. Good morning. Oh my god. You're an angel, thank you. Oh, I needed this. Oh my god. Oh, that actually was a free. That was my breakfast. Hmm? Uh, nothing, nothing. Thank you. I needed this. I had a rough morning. Well. So, it started off like a year and a half ago. This mother and daughter came in and the daughter was like glued to her phone. Mm -hmm. But it's been over a year and a half and there's still no progress. Oh jeez, that's crazy. I know. See, honestly, what you should do is- He's not yeah, funny. He's such a bad I'm not there. Yeah. 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 I don't know. No, you can ask him, Nelson. What is going on out here? Nothing, we're fine. We are not fine. She's cheating on me. No, I'm not. Well, what makes you think he's cheating? Well, we've had a son and I've been very skeptical of the way he looks. He looks nothing like me and now it's more obvious than ever. We came to therapy because I need a therapist to tell my husband he's overreacting. Well, where is your son? He's in the bathroom. Well, I'm sure whatever he looks like, he can't look that different from you. Hey guys. Ooh. You guys can come take a seat. Have fun. So, do you mind telling me your names? We're Megan and Harrison McConnell, and this is our son, Nelson. Okay, and the problem is? We already told you, this is not my son. She's cheating on me. I did not! How are you going to tell me that's my son when he literally looks like that? He's right there! Oh my god, you're really overreacting. Stop it, you're being no, such a bad really, father. I'm, Stop I'm, it, I'm, Nelson, it's okay for me. That is not my son! Mr. McConnell! What? It's nothing against him. It's just me. <laughs> well, what makes you think that he's not your son? Look at it. I can't believe you're saying this right now! I'm gonna have to agree with that. What?! What? I don't even look anything like him. How do you even make me out of you two? Well, you are our son! Well, how do we know that for sure? <sighs> because there's no possible way that you're not. Only one way to find out. How? We get a DNA test! What? 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 Yeah! I need to know for sure that that is not my son, and we're gonna do it here! Here? Yeah! We made you a part of this saga, and you're gonna find out with us. Why wouldn't you be? Because we met five minutes ago! <laughs> Good point, but you're still gonna be a part of this! Fine. Perfect. So, is there anything else that you guys need help with? <laughs> nope! Thank you! Bye! Wait! You need to pay! For what? Well, each session is $40, and yours is a walk-in, so that's an extra $30 that you need to pay me. Oh, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to, uh, bye! What does that have to do with any of the bad reviews? I'm getting to it. Fine. So, these next two clients, Philip and Victoria, they're best friends. But, as long as they've been friends, 
Philip has been keeping this huge secret from Victoria. And they need therapy for that? I'm getting to the situation. So, seeing that you guys have made another appointment, I'm guessing he still hasn't told you the secret? Nope. Ouch. Philip, could you step out for a moment? <laughs> Why? Because I want to talk to Dr. Ryder alone. Can you please step out? Fine. So... I thought you were a good therapist. Excuse me? You heard me. Because if you were a good therapist, we would have gotten the secret out of him by now. How do you know that for sure? Because I've been here for a year now, and we still haven't gotten it out of him. Well, what do you want me to do now? You'll force it out of him. Do everything you've done just a hundred times harder, and that way we'll get the secret out of him. And you'll be in the room with it? Oh, no. I'll go out into the lobby, and the plan is for him to come in here, do a little private talk with you, and get him to tell you the secret. Well, I'm a therapist. I can't just know people's secrets and tell them all around without people knowing. What if I change your mind? Fine. Deal. Philip, it's your turn. Didn't know we were doing one-on-ones today. We are, so go in there. Alright, Philip. How are you this morning? Confused. Why are we doing one-on-ones? Alright, let's just cut to the chase. Tell me the secret. Uh, no. Why not? Because you're gonna tell Victoria about everything that we're talking about in here. I'm not gonna tell Victoria. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not comfortable with telling you yet. Why? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Philip, I'm your therapist. I'm not gonna tell somebody your secrets if you're not comfortable with me sharing them. And how do I know that for sure? So, on, just so say it. Come on, Philip. No. Please? No. Just tell her the secrets. Why did you burst into the room? Were you listening in on us? Yes, I was, and so what? Were you in on this? Were you trying to get me to tell the secret? You know what? I'm out of here. Oh my god, why can't you just tell her the secret? I could! For a year now! Wait, guys! You forgot to pay me! You don't deserve it! You didn't get the secret out of him! And I've been begging you to tell me this stupid thing for two years! Okay, well, apparently not! The reason for having William, I really don't want to talk to you right now. Why not? I just got stiffed. Wait, really? Well, too bad! Why are you laughing? It's kind of funny, it's all. Can you go stop them from arguing? I thought they'd be done by now. Uh, it's not the same people from before. What do you mean? Hi, can I help you? Oh, yes, we're here to see Dr. Ryder. It's right in here. Oh, I know these people. Hi, come sit. Hi guys, how are you doing today? We could be better. Oh, why's that? Well, you see, we we're almost still late to our appointment today because uh, Bethany here took a wrong turn, and if I hadn't said anything, it would have taken 30 years to get here. Okay, he just over-exaggerated everything oh, he just said in that sentence. I made a wrong turn. I made a U-turn, and we were well on our way here, and then he just dramatic when I just want to get to our damn appointment on time. I'm like it's easy. You don't even know how to drive. I'm, t I'm trying. I told you I was trying and you I said that and you said you understood. Okay, but can you drive? No, so shut up. No, you shut up. Excuse You guys have been coming here for the last year or so and you still can't go a minute without arguing. Because of him. It's not because of me. And you know what? This goes back to the freaking hot dog thing and I, I can't do with this anymore. I guys! I'm just curious. How did you guys even last this long? I don't even know. Me neither. Well, since you guys have been coming here for so long, and for couples therapy, and it still ends with you fighting, don't you think it makes sense to, I don't know, break up? Well, no. 
Well, why not? Because I love her. You do? You do? I do. All right, perfect. So I have a test for you. Okay. You're just gonna answer some questions about Bethany. Uh, okay. All right, let's start off with something simple. What's Bethany's birthday? Uh... Are you kidding me? Hold on, I know it. Then when is it? Just give me a bit to think. You right? have to think no, about it. No, no. Then when is it? I, well, fine, I'll tell you. January 1st. No. What? January 2nd. No. January 3rd. No. January 4th. No. July 16th. No. July 17th. Yeah. Really? No. Why would you lie to me? Because you lied to me. You don't know when my birthday is. Okay. Well, I bet you don't even know when mine is. October 24th. Wow. You really do know when my birthday is. Yeah. Well, when's your birthday? October 24th. Wait, we have the same birthday? Yes, and you would know that if you paid any attention to me. Well, look, just because I don't know when your birthday is doesn't mean I don't love you. I don't believe you. You know what? This goes all back to the freaking hot dog thing, oh all right? Oh my god. You know what? They're horizontal. They're not vertical. They're not sandwiches. No, there's no. You can't say that. You can't say that. Kathleen's when you don't pay attention. You're always on that damn phone! You're exaggerating! Not you walked into the door! Can I help you guys? Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Ryder. My daughter was on her phone and, uh, yeah, walked right into the wall. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Um, we'll get started with you soon. I'm still on the phone with these two. Honestly, I am not in the mood to be here. After I found out I have a boyfriend who doesn't know when my birthday is! Oh, wait, you get back here! Wait, stop! You guys have to pay! Oh. Well, you see, Bethany's the one that normally does the paying. I don't really have a job, so I'm just gonna, uh, go. You guys can come in here. Thank you. So, same thing as last time? Yeah, she won't get off that phone. Hey, Willow. What? Do you mind if you can put the phone down for me, please? I do mind. Why? Because you're not my mom. But I am. I have told you multiple times to put that phone down. Well, I don't want to put my phone down. <sighs> Dr. Ryder, we have been going to you for several months. Is there anything you could do to help us? Uh, yeah, I think so. William, can you come in here, please? Hey, what's up? I need your help in here. So, what do you need my help with? I want you to take a phone from her. Uh, why? Just do it. A little exercise I'm doing. Okay. No, it's like it's glued to her hand. It isn't glued to her hand. Her eyes are glued to the screen. So what are you doing? What do you mean? Well, you're the mom. Shouldn't you be able to parent her correctly? William. What? Are you trying to correct my parenting? Well, it didn't seem like your parenting was working to begin with. So yeah, I am. You better take that back right now. Nope. So let me tell you some things you should be doing. You better take that back right now. Uh, Ma'am, I'm the therapist. Let me do my job. I'm about to walk out. You're my guest. William! You know what? We're leaving. Let's go, Willow. Find some way where it can actually help us. Wait, you have to pay me. After today, I'm not paying you anything. Dude. What? You just caused the fourth straight client to not pay me. Oh, sorry. Well, now I'm short $300 and I don't even know what to do. I don't know what you should do either. Thank you. You're welcome. I just don't know how I'm going to be able to make up all this debt. <laughs> well, it looks like that lady's going to be by crying and begging for forgiveness, and it's going to pay you. No, it's just my last client of the day. Oh, did you want me to let her in now? No, please don't. I just. Oh, I God, Dr. Roddy will see you in here. 
Thank you, William. You can leave. Bye! So, Caroline, how are you feeling today? Bad. So, how can I help you today? I'm just still adjusting to this new town, trying to meet new people and make new friends, but it's so hard. Caroline, you've had the same problem for two and a half years. So? So, I think it's time you face that anxiety. I, I don't know. I think it is. I, I don't know. I, yes it is. William! What now? I need you to come in here and help me do something with this client. Fine. What do you want me to do? Just have a conversation with Caroline here. She's very nervous to talk to new people. Uh, okay. Uh, hi. Uh, hello? 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 William, give her time to open up. How long have you been seeing her for? Two and a half years. What? You've been seeing her for how long? Two and a half years. I don't see why it's such a big deal. Two years is a long time without being able to talk to anyone new after getting help. Okay, William, calm down. No, speak, 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 speak. Hello, hello. William, you're a therapist. You're supposed to help her. Not when she's been like this for two years straight. Hello? Speak, speak, hello. Speak if you can hear me. Speak, speak, speak. Hello. <laughs> And my total for the day is zero dollars and zero cents. Sorry. What does any of that have to do with the negative reviews? It seems like you just lost a bunch of clients because, either because of them arguing or because Dr. Newton was pushing them away. I'm about to get there. You said that 20 minutes ago! I know, but this time I am actually almost at the part. Okay. Okay, so it was at the end of the day. Don't come in. But I brought you late lunch. Thanks. It's also sorry for pushing away lots of two clients. It's fine. They're bugging me anyway. What do you mean? Well, I've had some clients for almost two years, and some of them have made no progress. Wow. Yeah, and the thing is, it's not even my fault. I give them the advice, but they just don't take it. No. Oh. It's honestly probably taken more of a toll on me, more than it even has on them. Mm-hmm. I wish there was a way to show them that it's a bad idea to not take my advice. I got it. You can start giving them bad advice. Well, what do you mean? You said that most of them have been coming to you for two years, and that none of them have taken any of your advice, and after today, and even you're $300 short, that deserves some kind of revenge, doesn't it? But how is giving them bad advice going to help? It'll make their lives worse, just like how they made our lives worse. Uh, okay. And the best part of it all is you still end up getting paid if they don't walk out on you. Um... So who cares what advice you give them? They don't take it anyway. Who's so screw it? Alright. So I started giving bad advice. So, yeah. Uh, I feel like a good way to resolve your issues is actually to keep arguing. Both of you have points and valid reasons why you're arguing, so I think that you should keep it if you think that you're right. I mean, are you sure? Yeah, because, you know, arguing all day, every day, is really healthy. Well, if you say so, I have a problem with the way your breath smells. Oh, you really want to go there? Yes! Yes, I do want to go there. All right, well, I'm out of here. You can just do whatever you want. Wait. You have to pay. Oh, right, sorry. Well, I, I still don't like being around people. Well, I have a new idea. You can just not talk to anyone. Really? Yeah, just be in your own little bubble. You don't have to talk to people if you don't want to. Oh. Okay, but if someone does try to talk to you, punch them. Punch them? Yeah, how dare they invade your personal bubble? Uh, okay. That was $75. Woo! So, it's been some time. Philip, are you fine?
finally ready to tell Victoria the secret? Uh, no. When will you be? I don't know. It's been this long and you still haven't told me. Hey, Victoria, if he doesn't want to tell you the secret, he doesn't have to. The whole reason I brought us here was to get the secret out of him. Well, relax. Philip, if you don't want to tell her the secret, you can keep it as long as you want to. What? I got here. Wait, you have to pay me. I'll take care of it. I have a question. What's up? Am I allowed to win the secret? Uh, I swear you won't tell? I won't. <gasps> I know. Oh my god! I know! You're awful! I even did it to the new clients I have. So, Hector, I know you've had a very bad habit of stealing, but if it's what you love, I think you should keep doing it. Really? I, I mean, I've lost all my friends for it. I mean, and I've gone to jail for it, but really? I can. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, okay then. Well, this whole plan of yours has gotten us in a huge amount of trouble. What? Some bad reviews, like you said? Oh, bad reviews? No, that wasn't it. There was one bad review left by your client, Victoria. Well, she's just mad about the whole secret thing. But the rest of them ended up on TV. What? Well, first, Mr. and Mrs. McConnell and their son, Nelson. We're here with Megan and Harrison McConnell who are in dispute about their son. He is not my son. Stop it! We're about to find out. Oh, God. When it comes to 16-year-old Nelson. Harrison McConnell, you are the father. What? I told you! I told both of y'all! He is not my child. Explain to me. He looks nothing like me. Ow, Dad, you're hurting me. Whatever. This is all your fault, Gabriella Ryder. You could not be here during this DNA test. I blame you. I blame all of you guys at this damn therapist's office. Goodbye. How is that my fault? He's the one who decided to take it to a talk show and blame me. Still, it causes a bad image for us. But that's it? Just that one thing? That shouldn't have caused too much damage. That's not all. We're getting slandered everywhere because of a local news segment. I was told by our therapist to let her just keep using her phone. It was a habit she's trying to break. Now? She can't even lift her head up. Willow, honey, try to lift your head up. This is all your fault, Dr. Ryder. Now she won't be able to lift her head up for weeks. So yeah, my therapist told me to stay in my own little world and to talk to no one, which was a habit I was trying to break in the first place. Her other advice to me was that if anyone tried to talk to me, then I could punch them. And I did, in front of hundreds of people in a food court. And then I got arrested and I've been in jail ever since because I'm too scared to call someone to bail me out. But I blame Dr. Gabriella Ryder for this. You've ruined my life instead of making it better. What? Keep watching. Arguing was a habit we were trying to break. And when we were told to keep arguing, you know, it wasn't that hard because it was already something that we had set in place. And, you know, one argument just got too out of hand and I decided to infest our house with snakes. And, uh... Well, I ended up endangering my girlfriend. Luckily, well, unluckily, no one got hurt, but I ended up getting caught by the police and now I've got a court date coming up and it's all thanks to Dr. Ryder. So I hope you're happy with your decision. Well, what's gonna happen now? Well, this morning getting into the office, I had to get through a group of people protesting outside and I believe they're still outside now. You were still part of it. Oh, no. So what I want you and William to do is to go outside and apologize to the protesters. No. Yes. But we're going to get attacked. 
Should have thought of that before you decided to ruin the company. But. It's time.